Welcome to Sass of Sabrina. This is the channel where I try one new thing a week and post however it turns out. I hope to inspire you to try something new of your own or make you laugh if my process is funny. So this week I am hoping to make progress on this project. I have done tiling before and two different videos actually I'll uh, link those down below but I have never done the tile edging that I need for all of this section this is the edging that I bought for the ivory the, it's the exact width I brought my tile to the store with me and it fits right in there so I'll be using that on several different sides and corners and this is the black one that I found it's bull nosed as much as I could find within the city that I live in to match the bull nosing top of the black tile. I want to cut these and dry fit it before I get started. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. I did a little bit of research and we'll just see how it how it rolls out. I'm gonna measure the inner edge. I want one piece that comes down over here. So everything I researched said to use the miter box and have mitered edges. It makes the most sense also. This one is plastic and the other black trim that I have is metal. And everything I researched said cut your face side first. Okay, so it's a few days later. I filled in all the tile I could and then I drew all my lines. And there's this little half inch sliver that I am not cutting tiles for. So I went and I bought a reducer. The only color I could get was black. Everything's completely different. I bought a marble slab for the top of the sill. I bought that reducer. I still have the edger for this tile and then I have a new plan for all of here and I'm putting PVC trim in the inside so I don't have to do all these cuts and all these grouts and all these edgers. So now I only have like four tiles to cut and everything's going to be completely different. So I'm going to cut the new reducer edge piece that I bought to 24 inches. It's metal. I'm just going to use the same hacksaw and miter box. So step one, you put your mortar down and then you cut your edger tile reducer whatever you want to call it mine's a reducer edger piece then you plunk that in there so you press it in place and then you butter the back of your tile and put them on everything I researched said move quickly and that's all there is to it you do need to compensate for the added thickness of the backing of the edger but other than that it's actually much easier than I thought it would be okay I am gonna stop this video here because I need to keep moving and everything is drawing on me. Thank you for watching my video.